Yeah, I made a couple of really good calls on my Twitter where I mentioned some fundamentally some stocks that were extremely sound to purchase long term. So I've allocated 10% of my net worth, just really big chunk of money into Meta. And I like levered into the, the trade between $97 and I think it's at like 180 now. So I'm at almost 100% return on my 10%. I did Shopify as well. I cashed out on Shopify, I think it was like February 3rd. And I re-entered Shopify today, February 16th, after earning call dump, because obviously it made sense. Luke, what are you doing? Like what's next? Well, what's next is tomorrow I gotta wake up and do this shit. Yeah. Right. Tomorrow I have to wake up and do what I told myself that I was going to do. That's it. I'm not thinking about the output. The output is overwhelming because I know who I will become. Right. So I'm not focused on the output. I'm focused on the input. And by natural law, like I've said it before, the second law of thermodynamics, and I'm a big advocate for understanding and applying natural law into your business because you operate in a natural world. So you're bound by natural law. So if you understand natural law, you can utilize natural law to your advantage and understand how the world works. Uh, in a systematic format. But the second law of thermodynamics that I stated, energy can either be created nor destroyed. It can only be what? Transformed, right? So I'm not focused on the output because I know that the energy will be transformed. I am focused on the input of the energy in a certain way, right? Al alchemically being able to uh, turn that into success. Why? Well, because I understand through examples and through history and through testimonials that if I do certain tasks and put my energy in certain places, I will receive an equal proportion, an output that is relevant to the input. I'll give you an example. Exercising. If you do crunches with Mr. Belmar, with Nate, right? If you do his, his ab routine, his, his biohacking routine for three months and you're skinny, you'll get shredded. Why? Because there's enough testimonials in history that if you input this in your life, the output is guaranteed. Now, the output will look a little bit different for one person. The output will, will look a little bit different for another person, but it's the same thing as following a recipe. You and I can have the same recipe, but your chocolate chip cookies might taste slightly different, but you still followed the recipe, right? So in success, you have these recipes and these ingredients. So I built my daily goal list based off of understanding what each thing will yield in the future. And instead of focusing on yielding that in, in the future, I'm focusing on making sure that I plant the seeds today so that the fruit can be ripe and ready for the picking in due time. Most people are impatient, like Gary Vee says, uh, in the micro. And your goal is to be patient in the, excuse me, impatient in the micro, impatient in the macro, long-term delaying of gratification, reducing your dopamine and really being in a situation where you're in control. Uh, I see you lagging there a little bit. Are you losing me or are you oh, hearing me loud and no, clear? No, I hear you perfectly. I hear you perfectly right. fine. Uh, so that's my that's my perspective on goals, G. Like my perspective on goals are very straightforward. I'm, I'm not focused on the output. It's too overwhelming. I'm yeah. focused on the input and I know that I'll be taken care of. It's, pretty, it's, it's, it's a good way to live, bro. It's a good way, it it's a great way to live. It is. It's present, you know, in that, like you said, bro, the present is all we have. So ultimately, that's what you should be optimizing mm. for is what you're doing right now. Uh, not so much what you're going to be doing in the future. It's, it, that's all mm. talk as well. Like you're saying, like actions and results are really the only measures, right? Like uh, of your character and I guess success as well, too. So really why I was asking is because I'm trying to get some information from you on the money markets. What are you doing investment wise? Are you in the markets? Are you hmm. taking money out? I know so, Shopify was really yeah, good. Yeah, so I, I made I made a that. I made a yeah I made a couple of really good uh, uh, I calls on my Twitter at Luke Belmar, uh, where I where I mentioned some fundamental uh, fundamentally some stocks that were extremely sound to purchase long term. So I allocated ten percent of my net worth, which is really big chunk of money, into Meta. And I, uh, I and I like levered into the the trade between ninety seven dollars and seventy seven dollars. I don't think it tapped seventy seven, and I think it's at like one hundred and eighty now. So I'm at almost a hundred percent return on my ten percent. I cashed that out. I think on Monday, uh, and I did Shopify as well. I cashed out on Shopify. I think it was like February third, and I re-entered Shopify today. February 16th after earning call dump because obviously it made sense uh, that their 2022 was not going to be as good as before because of the entire supply chain 
uh, dilemma and advertising costs and all these issues that people have been having. But I still understood that the rally up to that news or that event was going to be crazy because people had expectations.